Well, howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you, and another part for the 3.5 liter, uh, specifically the Ford 3.5 liter water pump timing chain replacement. Um, as you can see, we've finally gotten down to the water pump, and one of the issues with this design is the fact that if you pull the water pump on this engine, all the coolant from the engine is going to go down inside of the oil pan. Now you could you could possibly take the time to find the uh, drain plugs for the engine block. If it has drain plugs for the engine block, that's the first question. That I don't know off of the top of my head. And more than likely, if it does have drain plugs for the engine block, they're probably kind of up high on the banks. Uh, when I say high on the banks, what I'm really trying to word here is uh, more than likely the exhaust manifolds and whatnot are in the way so in order to pull them you'd have to re remove like the exhaust manifold and stuff and I just don't think it's worth the time to get in there and look for that so that doesn't make too too much sense but you know I could see how pulling the drain plugs on the block could get the coolant out of there um, other than that I think it's worth it and as you know, I am building, I am in the process of running and building a professional shop here, but we're a family owned shop and we kind of have our own way of doing things. So I think it is worth it. And this is what I would tell my technician to take the time to saran wrap uh, or plastic wrap and do what you can to ensure that when you pull this water pump, you're not going to flood the oil pan with coolant, right? You're already gonna have to kinda wash the oil pan out while it's still on there. And what I've done is I've drained the oil completely out and I'll run some solvent that I know will evaporate and dissolve. I'll pull, you know, I'll leave the drain plug out and I'll rinse it out down there with some solvent, let it drain out. But um, ultimately, do what you can, get creative, take your time. We used plastic wrap and we took about an extra 30 minutes and just really strategically laid it out in there and all that other good stuff. And hopefully we can do kind of a controlled spill and just kind of have that coolant just kind of drip down that plastic wrap away from the oil pan. So again, get creative. Do what you can to avoid coolant getting into the oil pan. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the camera set up and we'll remove the water pump. Okay, and I think I might have found a spot and a way for you guys to watch me remove this water pump. Now, I've got an 8 millimeter and I'm going to start at the bottom the torque spec for installing these is not very high so they should come out fairly easily there's no special way of getting them in or out or what have you Other than I'm starting at the bottom. I'm not going to fully remove them. I'm just going to loosen them up. I'm going to do this so I can kind of control the amount of coolant that's going to come out of here. All right, looks like I got them all. So you're gonna have one on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bolts. Uh, I'm gonna pause it here real quick for just a second. I hear my other phone dinging. Sounds like business is calling. I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. And so I've got the water pump loose. Now you've got some alignment dowels. You've got one here. 
and one here because it's internal and this car doesn't have a lot of miles I'm not gonna spray it down with PB blaster some of you guys may be doing this on an engine with high miles so you may want to squirt a little PB blaster where the alignment dowels are and then you'll see on the top here where there's areas where you can get a pry bar in It looks like it's the only pry point actually is right here. Wow, this water pump. Okay, you would think with low miles, it would definitely want to come out but I'm gonna tell you right now this water pump does not want to come off at all so we're just gonna take our time let's kind of see what can happen here we go I'm just gonna put a little pressure on it you guys might be able to see on the camera I don't know you can see some of the coolant coming out There we go. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna force it. I'm just gonna work with it a little bit. And so far, it looks like it's paid off. There's gonna be a lot of coolant that's gonna come out of there. Come on. Make sure it's going in the pan. Alright. So I don't want it to break. There we go. There we go. Come on. So, it doesn't really matter Well, it really does matter. Don't don't flood the oil pan with the coolant coming out. Don't do that. So definitely put something down there to try to keep the coolant out of the oil pan. And then as you kind of saw, and like I said, this vehicle, in, you know, if you look in here, it's real clean in here. This vehicle has been very well maintained and taken care of. I don't think they've missed too many oil changes. This vehicle has 127,000 miles on it. And is extremely clean. And yet that water pump, as you saw really did not want to come <clears throat> come off and this aluminum cast parts these new parts that are all aluminum cast and whatnot they're like paper boy are they ever like paper so trying to force it off or strong arm it off don't do that just take your time 
work with it a little bit. All right. Now that I got all my bolts off, yeah, they're still not gonna want to come off by hand. And I see kind of where it's getting hung up is on our dowel over here. And remember, this is aluminum. It's really soft, so be careful what you're prying against. Come on, buddy. Oh, looks like, okay, the dowels are gonna come out with it. There we go. This one's pretty loose and you can see. You see that? It actually feels like it has a little bit of a hang up. I don't know if the shaft is bent or what the deal is there. There it is. And so now, we can go to work. Get all this cleaned and dried up and cleaned up and get anything that might have fallen down in there out. Make sure you get as much coolant out of there as you can. Now you're really at the point to where you can start cleaning things up and putting things back together. So, there you go, folks. Let me see if I can get you a good shot of what it looks like in there. All right. Pretty neat, huh? Alrighty guys, well there you go. At this point it is time to make sure you've got your new cam and crank bolts and all your timing components and water pump. It's time to start putting things back together. So pay attention to your torque specifications. Take your time. Put it back together. If you've got your cam locking tools, you don't even have to worry about TDC. Bottom line is, is you can go to bed at night and know for a fact everything is set. To perfection so just take your time putting the timing back and all that back together and stuff and I will more than likely post more videos showing how to reinstall the timing components and all that other good stuff so but uh, as far as taking everything apart and everything that's involved you are done congratulations good job maybe next time we do actually want to pull the engine to do this job but we'll We'll see what happens next time. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, shoot them to me in the comments section. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking out this video series, and thanks for supporting me. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.